Anyways, I'm here because today I'm not going to be talking or doing anything about makeup. I'm actually here for my first video on the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, the book that I just recently finished reading, like yesterday, <laughs> two days ago, well, you know, recently, is Ink Death by Cornelia Funk. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but here it is. Ow, I just hit myself with it. Um, so it's actually, this is the last book in a trilogy. The first book is called Ink Heart, the second Ink Spill, I believe, and this one Ink Death. So yeah, um, it's really, really interesting. So quick summary, it's practically about this family um, who father and daughter when they read out loud from books, the characters in the books come to life. Like, they come out of the book and come into our world. Well, yeah, it's our world, because the, the world we live in is like ours. But something happens, but, well, of course something happens, it's a book. But at the beginning, the father didn't know he could do this, so he read out loud and his wife went into the book, into Inkheart, which is really cool because it's like, it's like, the book, the special book that everybody talks about, it's and in the book that they and the book and the story in the Okay, wait, let me figure this out. So <laughs> this the world and the book that this family ends up in, which is not our own, is Ink Heart, which is also the title of the first book. So it's kind of um like what's that movie called? Oh my god, why names today are not coming to mind. Um um, you know that movie, it's like a dream within a dream, and within a dream, within a dream, that thing? Well, you know what I'm talking about. I'm probably gonna like flash the name thingy right here now. Yeah, uh-huh. Anyways, it's really cool like that. And pra practically, they, all the story revolves around this book and this uh, alternate universe. And practically, I already said practically. Um, this family, well, daughter and father, since they both can read, uh, one, one, of course they can read, but when they read out loud, the things come to life, they try to get their, um, well, um, wife, mom, person, home, and this other characters come out, and, like, this other character from another story comes in, and it's all this, like, mish, m mix of characters, that they all end up in the ink heart. Uh, world and practically you know they fight evil and stuff and it's really 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 interesting uh so yeah um it took me a bit to read it because um i don't know why it just i mean it's it's pretty easy to read you know and it's actually really simple to read it's not anything complicated I guess there's just really many names and many places, so you kind of have to read them like one after the other one right away, or else you can forget because it's a lot. Like even there's a um in like an A to Z of names and places in the trilogy, as you can see, because and it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight pages, and it's a lot of stuff to remember. Uh, but yeah, it's really interesting. I already said that. Oh my god. Uh, another thing that I love about these books is that at the end of every chapter there's like a drawing and they're really really cool. And at the beginning there's a quote, a quote from another book and this reference right here and then there's this on top of it. And it's really nice. And yeah. Oh, uh, what else to say? I don't know, it's the first book. I mean, first video review thingy that I've done, so I, I'm actually not sure what I should talk about. So, yeah, um, I don't own this book. It's actually from the library, from a school library. So yeah, that's why I don't have the other two with me right now. But yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Um, on the back it says, try it, read page 71, so I'm gonna do that, read, read page 71. Oh, by the way, this book, 
This last book has 700, oh, 699 pages. And my door keeps on banging and it's kind of creepy. Anyways, page 71. But Maggie pushed his arm roughly away. She didn't like the idea of Mo going on his own. Although she had to admit she'd have been only too happy to stay with Farid. She'd miss his face so much. Look after me? You don't have to look after me! She snapped at him, more sharply than she had intended. Being in love made you so stupid. She's right about that. No one has to look after Maggie. Mo gently took the horse's reins from her hands. Now that I come to think of it, she's looked after me more than the other way around. I'll soon be back, he told her. I promise. And not a word to your mother, all right? Maggie just nodded. Look, stop looking at me so anxiously, Mo whispered in a conspirational tone. Don't the song say the blue jay hardly ever does anything without his beautiful daughter? So I'm much less of a suspicious character without you. Yes, but the songs are lying, Maggie whispered back. The blue jay doesn't have a daughter at all. He's not my father. He's a robber. Mo looked at her for a long moment. Then he kissed her on the forehead as if obliterating what she had said and went slowly towards the castle with Fenoglio. Maggie never took her eyes off him as he reached the garden and stopped. In his black clothes, he really did look like a stranger. The bookbinder from a foreign land who had come all this way to see the famous Balbulus' pictures and give them proper clothes to wear at last. Who cared what he'd also become a robber on his long journey? Farid took Maggie's hand as soon as Mo had turned his back to them. Your father's as brave as a lion, she whispered to her, but a little crazy too, if you ask me. If I were the Blue Jay, I'd never go through that gate, certainly not to see a few books. Page 71. Um, that kind of gives a little idea of what's going on. And something I would always do when I have ever read a book is to read the last sentence of the book. It's something I do. So I'm going to read it to you, and it doesn't really spoil anything. So. Because there must be exciting in that other world, much more exciting than in his own. Uh, and, it, and it's so like, again, this is like the movie, con, in, in, con, uh, con, uh, that movie I was talking about. You know, that movie, it's like the same thing again with the end. Like, if you read, you figure it out. It's amazing, and I love this, and yeah. So, before this gets any more random and just not about books, Bye! Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. And remember, if I don't come back or somebody attacks me, it's the house.